Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Drama O Rama Online. I'm Mrs. Combs, and I'm so excited to share this time with you today. Now, remember to have your journals ready, and let's get started. For today's warm up, we will explore animal movements and vocalizations playing a game called Animal Morphs. In Animal Morphs, we will begin by walking in neutral as humans, and we will slowly morph or change into the animal character that I call out. We will move about the space, use vocalizations, and then we will slowly morph back into ourselves. And we will do this with four different animal characters. Are you ready? Find your space bubbles, then stand in neutral. First, walk as yourself in neutral. And when I say action, you will morph into a dog. And action. Slowly morph. Keep exploring dog movements. Now I want you to vocalize as a dog. Woof! Woof! Now slowly morph back to yourself and walk in neutral. Now, when I say action, I want you to morph into a cat and action. Slowly morph. Keep exploring cat movements. Now, I want you to vocalize as a cat. Now, slowly morph back to yourself and walk in neutral. Now, when I say action, I want you to slowly morph into a mouse and action. Slowly morph. Keep exploring mouse movements. Now, I want you to vocalize as a mouse. Squeak! Squeak! Now slowly morph back to yourself and walk in neutral. And finally, when I say action, I want you to morph into a cow. And action. Slowly morph Keep exploring cow movements. Now I want you to vocalize as a cow. Now slowly morph back to yourself and walk in neutral. Freeze. Well done. Today, we will be exploring an animal fable focusing on the characters. An animal fable is a short story in which an animal has a human trait and at the end, there is a moral to the story. This is the oldest form of children's literature. So we are going to act out the fable, the dog, and his reflection, focusing on how the animal characters move, speak, and feel. I will tell the story as I act it out, and I want you to act it out with me. Are you ready? Find your space bubbles, then stand in neutral. <coughs> the dog and his reflection, an animal character fable. 
Once upon a time, there was a very greedy dog who ate everything that he saw. If he wasn't thinking about eating, or dreaming about eating, he was eating everybody else's meals. So one morning, Cat, looking forward to her morning bowl of milk, was shocked when she looked at an empty bowl. She looked up at Dog, and Dog had milk all over his face, and she said, Say it with me in a cat voice. And, mm, where is my milk? And dog replied, <laughs> I don't know. Say it with me in a dog voice. And, <laughs> I don't know. Then he wiped his mouth <laughs> and went on his way. And cat looked perturbed. In the next room, Mouse was looking forward to his morning cheese piece. And he was looking and looking, and it was nowhere to be found. And then he looked up and saw Dog with cheese all over his face and said, Where is my cheese? Say it with me in a mouse voice. And, where is my cheese? And Dog replied, <laughs> I don't know. Say it with me in a dog voice. And, <laughs> I don't know. And then he wiped his mouth and went on his way. And Mouse looked perturbed. <laughs> well, out by the barn, Cow was looking forward to some freshly cut straw, but it wasn't in its usual place. Hmm. Then Cow looked over to Dog and saw straw all over his face and asked, Hmm. Where is my straw? Say it with me in a cow voice. And, hmm, where is my straw? And Dog replied, <laughs> I don't know. Say it with me in a dog voice. And, <laughs> I don't know. And then he wiped his mouth and went on his way. And Cow hmm, looked perturbed. Hmm. Well, Dog was so pleased with himself, he ran across the field into his neighbor's yard and saw a sleeping dog in the front yard. And next to that sleeping dog was a big, juicy bone. He had to have it. So he crept slowly, slowly up to that bone so he didn't wake that dog. And he snatched her bone in his teeth and ran as fast as he could over the hills, through the meadows, until he came to a riverbank where he was able to get some rest. Ooh into the river and noticed that there was another dog looking at him with an even bigger and an even juicier bone than he had. He knew he had to have it. So he opened his mouth to grab that bone and then his bone fell out of his mouth and drifted down the river all the way where he couldn't find it anymore. He was like, oh, but, but. Oh, that's okay, I've got this bone. And he looked back 
and that dog had no bone. And then he realized that wasn't a different dog at all. It was his reflection. He felt foolish. His tail between his legs. He went back home because he knew what he had to do. Waiting for him outside when he got home was cat, mouse, and cow. He went up to them and said, I'm sorry. Say it with me in a dog voice. I'm sorry. I'll never be greedy again. Say that with me in a dog voice. And I'll never be greedy again. Hmm. And the moral of the story is, it's foolish to be greedy. You just might lose everything. The end. Yay! Today, we were able to create a variety of detailed animal characters using our bodies and our voices. We were able to also explore different emotions using expressive bodies and expressive faces to show how each individual character was feeling. This gave us the opportunity to tell the fable through each character's point of view, adding details and making the retelling of the fable more dynamic. It's time for today's journal prompt. I want you to think about one of the animal characters from the fable today, either the dog, the cat, the mouse, or the cow. Draw a picture of how this animal character shows his or her emotions. And then I want you to write that emotion anywhere on the picture. And remember, use details. so much for acting out an animal character fable with me today. Until next time, we'll sing goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.